Hey, what is up, guys? And today we're going to be taking a look at the CNHL Mini Star 1500 milliamp forest lipos. And these are the Chinese, the China Hobby Line batteries here. I've heard a lot of great things about them, so I am currently looking for new batteries, which is why I decided to pick up two of these. Now, these are 4S and they do come at 300 milliamp or 1300 milliamp forest as well. I have been testing these for the past two days now, and I will be giving you my flight footage as well as what I think of them. I did purchase more, and you'll see those in the upcoming days. Now, to be honest, this was actually one of the best ones that uh, I actually tested, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So, let's see some of its uh, dimensions, and let's get its weight and get all that crazy good stuff. So, go ahead and check this out. So, they're stating that it can also be charged around uh, 5C, so you'll be able to charge in like 10 minutes, but I really don't recommend it. I usually charge 2.5C on everything. So, this is it's coming in at 193 grams which I never really look at the weight, but I know it's very important for some people out there. Let's get its dimensions because I think its dimension is pretty important. Now in width, it's around, we can say 33.55 in width. All right, and in length, it's 39.41 or 42, depending on how hard you push it. I can push it all the way down to 39. So we can say around 39.6, I guess. And uh, in length here, we have, we can say 75 millimeters in, in length here. So around 75 millimeters, give or take here. So that's really nice. And it, the, they do provide you with very short JSD connectors, which is really good. This will reduce the chance of you cutting them because I've gotten some batteries with some pretty long ass ones. And you also get your XT60, which is a black one and everything is silicone. So that's a huge plus here. So these are the specs and let's get into the flight now. All right, so I've been flying these for around three days now. I've put in, I got actually two of them and I've put quite a few packs in them and what's really nice no matter how much I push them and I did push them a couple times very very hard just to see how well uh, they're coping and at the same time also I wanted to keep the batteries just to make sure uh, I have something good if it, if they turn out to be great at least I keep two or one of these that are pretty decent so I did punch the living crap out of it for about uh, five flights in a row I didn't get any puffing and surprisingly they were just slightly warm but again the weather wasn't a really hot weather it was around 18 to 20 degrees celsius uh, so we can take that into perspective. So temperature, the, the overall air temperature does have a lot to do with it. However, I also picked up more batteries, which I will be showing you in a later video, which performed a lot worse than this. And to be honest, these performed really, really nice, actually really good. I was actually surprised. I was peaking around, I think 120 amps and uh, pushing it, pushing it. Voltage sag was some voltage sag, but it wasn't a super drop dead voltage sag. It would hold around 120 amps, I think. This is right now, I'm just speaking from my head, but the video is probably playing right now. Um, for around a good one second, two seconds, then it'll start dropping. You, you could kind of hear the voltage sag a little, but it wasn't such a nasty drop of voltage. Uh, it was still functioning really nicely, and the recovery time was really good as well. I was doing a lot of big punch outs, like eight, eight, it was. It can hold 80 amps constant current without an issue. And it can, you know, the 120 amps, I was noticing it could hold that for around a second or so. Um, at least from what the OSD was telling me, um, without taking a look, cause I can't watch the, uh, amperage and the voltage at the same time, but you guys could see the flight for yourself. I also do have the, uh, the, the, the throttle percentage also in there. So you can see that for yourself. So overall, I am actually really surprised with these and I'm really satisfied with these because, um, these were some, some of the only few batteries that really, um, actually stood out for me. I mean, I've gotten Turnergy graphene batteries before they were crap. The voltage sag was ridiculous on them. Uh, they're supposedly graphene. I've gotten Infinity, the Infinity 70C graphene. Those were always my favorite because they lasted so long and they took so much abuse and they were always just performing. But now it's been over a year now with those. So, but I still use them every once in a while, believe it or not. Also, what do I have? I got the Aceci or what the green ones. Those are good. They're still holding up, but they still they're not lasting as long as my infinity graphenes. And um, this right now is, is just a beautiful brand new fresh pack. What I've been putting a lot of flights through throughout the day. I did purchase more, like I mentioned, and these outperformed everything that I've gotten so far of the ones I've tested. So I've tested all the four S's basically that I have, and I'll be showing you those in the upcoming days. Um, but these were really, really good batteries, but they are a little bit expensive. I really want to find that sweet spot where a $20 battery is a really good battery, but these are a little bit above $20. All right guys, so overall these batteries were good out of the bunch that I've tested. And out of some of the things that I've used in the past because you know some there were some brand new fresh packs that I received even from specific brands where when I come down they're just completely different 
uh, sell voltage, which is really ridiculous. And and um, and that also happened to me on this new purchase also, but not with these. These were actually the best ones that I've tested from the pack from the purchase that I made, which was two of each. And you'll see those in the upcoming videos. But these seem to be good so far, and it's still too early to say anything final about them. But I will be using them quite often right now, and then we can see how well they're gonna last up. Um, overall, they seem good, and uh, only time will tell. And I'll keep you guys updated. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.